I'm going to share with you my mastering template that I've developed over the last 18 years as a professional mastering engineer. I use this template on every mastering session so that I can focus on the music rather than the technical stuff. This template is mainly for signal flow and gain staging. It just means that repetitive things are taken care of so I can focus on the music. It allows me to use my analog gear alongside software so that I can get the best of both worlds. I've just loaded a Pro Tools session from a mastering project I did last week. On most mastering sessions, I use a combination of hardware and software. The signal flow is playback from Pro Tools through Boil Converters into a pair of channels on my SSL. I really love the sound of this console. I've had it for 18 years and I also really like the sound of the mix bus. Then we go through some outboard on the mix bus inserts of the SSL. The hardware is generally going to be a pair of ear, valve EQs and limiters. It could easily be a DECA mastering EQ that I have, which is beautiful, or a stereo input on the DECA valve console. It really just depends what the music needs. Then we go back out of the SSL, back into Pro Tools via another set of Burl converters, and then process through some plugins, including several limiters, before capturing to an audio track in Pro Tools. Because I'm generally only making small changes with the outboard, I like to capture a copy of the master before any software limiting, because I can often use this to make any changes if needed, unless a client sends me a new mix version for mastering. This saves me having to recall the analog outboard, which even though I line it up with tones before every session, is never quite the same two days running. So you can see here, I've got some very simple recall notes for my analog outboard. These all tie up with marks. The compressor, I line up with tones, and I generally adjust the amount of gain production I want by how hard I hit it. And then if we come down here, you'll see I've got two different paths on the input with some different limiting chains. I'm generally doing a digital master, which is going to be a little bit hotter than the vinyl master. And I usually use the vinyl master for an Apple digital master as well. It's got a dB or two less limiting. It's just a tiny bit more open but it gives me the choice there. And the third is one which is just capturing the hardware only before any digital limiting. So you might be wondering whether using a template like this gets in the way of creativity. Actually, it's the complete opposite. It's not about using the same plugins or the same EQ settings or limiter settings, but I do have some of these things set with the gain levels going into them so that if I'm playing something back at a particular level, I know it's gonna hit everything really nicely where those things sound the best to my ears. It changes a bit over time, but that's generally the idea. If you'd like me to make a downloadable version of this template, I'm very happy to just leave me a comment below. If you've enjoyed this, please like, subscribe, sign up to the newsletter as well. We've got some great mastering discounts. All of this stuff really makes a difference. So yeah, thanks for watching. Look after yourselves and each other. See you next time.